Hi everyone and welcome to another video. In this episode I'm going into St John's Market in Scunthorpe to visit my local record store Vinyl Jewels. So stick around and we're going to take a look around and have some pickups at the end. Now inside, take a look here, there are boxes full of vinyl, CDs stacked on shelves, vinyls all across the wall there. You might recognise some familiar titles if you have a good close look. Box sets on the top shelves, along the top there with price labels on. Many boxes full of vinyl, lots of different genres. Now in here I'm in the CD section, this is what I like to look at. Albums on the shelves, signed sleeper album there, the modern age, signed up. Singles on the shelf here, on the left, I'm moving on down. Tucked away in a little corner here is the King Maker, King Maker box set from a couple of years ago. It's hidden away there in between the single section and the rock section. Now this is the section I will mainly be looking at, the alternate and indie shelving. It's on the highest shelf in the whole store. Luckily I'm quite tall and can reach up there. Now there are a lot of titles on this shelf that I was interested in. I scoured my way across and picked out the things that I wanted to buy today. Above that, more box sets. David Bowie there. As you can see moving along here, there's lots of alternate and indie, indie albums. Now also Britpop does not have its own section, it is mixed in with this alternate and indie section. But the owner was very knowledgeable and I had a good chat. Well, let's take a look at my, this week's pickups. Blue Tone single, Solomon Bites the Worm. This is the first single from their second album. And it was released in 1998. Got a very nice, the singles from the second album. I think the, just the artwork in general, I think is absolutely amazing. This headstone with Solomon written on it, that is a really, it's very, I love it, the art on it, and it's 50 pence as you can see, it was from the single section, and just in there there's the disc, it's in amazing condition, and it, it's got the b-sides, I was a teenage Jesus and I walked all night, and like I said, this is the first single from the Blue Tone's second album, Turn to Last Chance Saloon, and this is Solomon Bites the Worm. It's a great song, I love that song, it is cracking, it's amazing. So that's Blue Tones, Solomon Bites the Worm. Next up, I got Dodgy in a Room, and this is their second single from the third album, and re was released in 1996. Yeah, released in 1996, and this is in good quality too. This comes this comes with the B-sides. This is in a room, it comes with full version, it comes with self-doubt and then an acoustic version of the song Long Life. Now this is Dodgy in a room. I think this is probably one of my favourite Dodgy songs. Yeah. It's not like, it's nothing like, oh what's this, what's it called? Good enough, it's nothing like good enough at all. I think it's a better song than that. Everyone remembers Dodgy for good enough and staying out for the summer, but if you dig a little deeper into some of the things Dodgy released, you'll find this gem. Yeah, Dodgy in a room. 50 pence again. Now, these were the two cheapest things from going to the record store. These next few things, well, I'll talk about it at the end. I'll talk about it at the end, but I've been through it all. Now next up I got the debut album by Carter, The Unstoppable Sex Machine, uh, 101 Dalmatians. Now I already had a Carter album, 1992 The Love Album, and I saw this and I thought, oh, I'm going to buy something of one and have another little dig into the Carter back catalogue. Now, just see here, it's got... Um, Got cats on the thing and that. Released in 1989, and it includes one of the more favourite songs, Sheriff Batman. It's there in the hype sticker on the front. And it's just, 
white with black dots, there's nothing really special to it. It doesn't stand out, it's not that appealing. Um, so, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eleven songs by Big Cat Records, 1989. I mean, I like Sheriff Fatman, it's a classic late 90s, 80s, early 90s tune. So I can't wait to give this a listen and see what else I find on there I like. Yep, yeah, that's Car to the Unsupposed Sex Machine, £4. Next up, I have the debut album from the indie band Tiger, We Are Puppets. Now Tiger are on the borderline of, were they Britpop, are they Britpop? They definitely an indie band, pretty much all Britpop could be classified as indie so but yeah I like Ty Tiger and Ty this album Tiger were never a big mainstream band but there was they had quite they had a following and this is like I said the debut album this Tiger and We Are Puppets came out in 1996 so it was it was right in there at the right time right when Britpop was at its boom and Tiger probably more known for this song single race that's on here if you asked anyone about tiger that's the song they'd probably hear tell you to go listen to can't say i've really delved much deeper myself into the tiger back catalog so i'm quite excited to give this a listen and the artwork for it it's quirky it's different i like it a man carrying a car the Jaguar on the side, yeah, I like it a lot. It'd be, it'd be interesting to find out some more information about the artwork on that. The disc itself inside, nothing special to it. We just says Tiger and it's a colour rolling out there. <laughs> it's rolling out like a tyre rolling off a car. That's Tiger, We Are Puppets, 1996. Now the last album I got. Now this is definitely sort a Britpop hidden gem. I want to say it's a hidden gem. It is the debut album from Ballroom, released in 1998. So this is right at the tail end. You could already say that Britpop was dead then, but this, I think, is a proper Britpop hidden gem. Now, I said Ballroom's debut album. It's Ballroom's only album. But I have already listened to this, and I think... It is a quality album. It is. There are some proper bangers on it. And now, Take It, the lead single at the top there, is probably the most well known song by Ballroom. But I'm a big fan of the song Four Heads of Tales. I like Don't Stop. To be honest with you, after listening to this album once, I think I could listen to it a lot. I am very impressed by Ballroom, and I don't know why I never went and listened to anything sooner because. I am very impressed. It is a cracking album. And I will definitely be looking for some more ballroom. The single, definitely the singles and any ballroom related items on eBay online. If anybody knows of any ballroom memorabilia items or anything to do with ballroom, all I would love to know about it. Please hit me up in the comments or leave me a message. I would love to hear from you. So, yeah. That's ballroom. Now I'm gonna go back to the price of these. I paid four pound for Car to the Unstoppable Sex Machine. It's up there. Got two pound fifty for Tiger and three pound for Ballroom. Now I felt four pound for car was a little bit expensive and I wouldn't normally pay that much. Tiger and Ballroom, yeah, if I was to go get them on eBay, including postage, that's probably what I'd pay for them, so I felt that was not too bad. Now, I was supporting my local record store, so I was happy to pay the prices on them. I wasn't arguing or anything. I support my local record store all the way. And just on that day, these are the ones on the shelf that I saw, and I thought I'm going to get these, but I'm definitely going to go back in the future and have another look and see what they've got. Now, I'm going to go away and listen to some of these in full. I've already listened to Ballroom, love it, but definitely haven't listened to Tiger or Kai. So, you might see some posts about them in the future. 
So all together I got five. I got Carter, Tiger, Ballroom. And I also got Blue Tone, Solomon Bites the Worm. See if I can stack that on top. And I got Dodgy in a room. I paid £10 from all all together. I think it should have been 11 but she knocked some money off. We had a, I had a good chat with the owner, like I said. Now as, all, now, as always, if you've got any comments, please leave them down below. This is what I, my day out to the record store, my pickups. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And also subscribe to the channel. And I hope to see you next time.